What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone Tuesday. For today's episode, we're gonna try to dial in a fingerstyle rock sound. And we're going for a you know, solid tone that provides a good foundation while not being too aggressive and not too boomy while still preserving some definition. Um, so we're just gonna you know, try to get that done here and for that i've got my lakeland p bass and this is our starting point at the moment All right it's still clean there's nothing going on i'm going from the bass into my mesa WD-800 set to pre-EQ at the moment and then to Logic. So there's no coloration whatsoever going in single chain at the moment. Now, because I know it's gonna be a rock sound, um, I definitely want some overdrive in there, some saturation of the signal. So I'm gonna switch from pre-EQ to post-EQ first and there's gonna be a drop in volume as well. This is the pre EQ, the post EQ signal, sorry. And because I wanna want to push my input to, you know, to crank the, the gain on the preamp tube, I'm gonna switch right now from line level on the DI to mic level because there's gonna be a lot of gain happening. So now, super quiet probably. Barely coming in a signal. And I'm gonna start cranking the input knob right now. Now you're starting to hear some, some of that drive happening. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know if the, the camera is picking this up, but the overdrive LED is lighting up. Just a hair back. Maybe a little bit more. You don't want like extreme amount of overdrive because you lose some definition if it's too too overdriven. Um, so we're gonna stick to that probably. I like that. Now I need some bass, some more bass. So I'm gonna boost the bass a little bit. So that's thick, thick enough. I might roll up the high pass filter just a hair, there. Cool. Um, now my passive mids are in the middle. I'm gonna probably leave them there because if I boost them, like all the way, which is actually flat. I would prefer it here. So I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna boost some treble. Even a bit more actually. I like that. Now, I've got my third mid band here, and I'm gonna. Probably boost around there. See how it sounds like. Yeah. That's gonna give the sound a bit more growl and it's gonna cut or, or be more present in the mix. I like that. I really like that. Um leave it there. I might cut around I mean, I'm gonna boost first. I'm guessing this is around 700. I like that. I 
I'm digging that. I'm, I'm really liking that tone. And just for, to compare how it was at the beginning, I'm gonna switch. So I just switch back to how it was at the beginning, and this is the clean tone. I'm gonna go back to the post EQ sound. I'm liking this. Um, I really, I'm digging this tone. So now let's gonna let's check it out with some drums and see how it fits. There you go. That's how I would probably dial in a rock sound, only using the amp. You've got some, you know, drive to glue with the guitars and the drums. You've got some bass to provide some foundations. And I also high passed it just a little bit to remove some rumble below. And you also got the treble boost. And I boosted quite a bit, you know, it's like my treble is pretty much at like three o'clock to provide some more aggression to the sound, but still it's not like overbearing, I would say. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel. Also, let me know in the comments what kind of tones would you like me to dial in for future videos. Thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care.